Welcome back. We're in South Bend, Indiana, October 15th. You can see this aircraft gracefully drifting down. Not much wind coming in nice and easy. SR-22 caps full number 150. So 150 times the pilots have decided to pull the parachute. And of those 150 times, 127 lives were saved. So pretty good rating here. For firefighters, it's going to be hard fighting this aircraft. The cornfield is over six feet tall. Um, and then also you can see how dry it is in this area. So um, glad there was no fire because it could have been an easy brush fire. Um, here's the aircraft uh, in all its glory. Cirrus SR-22, Charlie, Foxtrot Tango, Mike Bravo was a tail number. And um, yeah, here it is again. Uh, you can see the parachute here. So I wonder if it's difficult to gather all of this and what they do with the parachute after they get this all together. Um, how do they reset up everything? Um, so the aircraft can fly again. That would be some interesting procedures to go over. Um, here you can see they're standing on a hill. But if they were closer to this cane, I mean, it's it's definitely a lot taller than than these people are. And uh, And here it is again coming down nice and easy. They said they heard the bang of the rockets as they used that parachute. And then there was no injuries to the pilot. Here's the flight aware flying from Canada, heading to Chicago, Illinois, and ended up three miles um, from South Bend International Airport, if any of you guys are familiar with this area, kind of by uh, Notre Dame. But that's all I got. Glad the pilot was okay. Hopefully the aircraft can fly again. This is Arfadam Keone. I'll see you guys next time.